fresh cup of coffee in the morning Woo! from a nice pour over. And the reason why we're using a pour over is in the mess of everything that we've broken. We broke our fine, fine French press. Our French press did us so well. So well. But when you have stuff in a van that's made out of glass, and you have two clumsy people trying to pass it from one person to the next. Yeah. Things are prone to break all the time. <laughs> We've been trying to find a French press or a coffee maker in Mexico, and all they have is the electric ones, which don't work for us. But I'm confident that after a string of some bad luck and of some things breaking, yeah. this is the end. I, I, I think so too. I, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. <laughs> so we woke up and Santiago de Querétaro. We realized, we found out we're pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I, I still like Querétaro better. It sounds nice. Yeah, it does. We're going to be driving about an hour west to San Miguel de Allende. Allende. That's probably also wrong, so you guys can let us know. <laughs> we got a few things we got to do first. What's Let's it called? Let's go. Yenar, you're, you're Yenar. Yenar. Yenar el tanque. El tanque, por favor. Yenar el tanque, por favor. This is Kaylee's t first time really speaking Spanish to anybody. Oh God, it's so stressful. <laughs> that was $102. So there's the price of the gas right there. You can see 2, that's- 2053. Which is a little over $100. Yeah. So we haven't had any issues with the lines at the gas stations. We've been getting right in. As you can see, kind of like a typical American gas station. But the price is expensive. It's about what you'd find in California. Uh, somewhere like oh, three fifty to $4 a gallon, so. Which is gracias. So we had some errands that we wanted to get done today while we're in Santiago, but this place that we're going to today is supposed to be like one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So we want to get there as soon as possible and then we'll take care of the stuff we need to do later when we come back to Santiago later on. So we're gonna bail, we're going straight to San Miguel. Welcome to San Miguel de Allende. Is that right? Sweet. Sweet. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So let's go check it out. Authentic city. Yes. This honestly has been the most beautiful, beautiful places I've seen in a really long time. The most beautiful places? <laughs> so this marks exactly seven days for us in Mexico. Yes. And I think this is our favorite spot so far. Absolutely. We've only been here for like an hour or two. I know. We still have so much to see. There's so many little like bakeries and little stores and boutiques and restaurants and cafes. And we're kind of celebrating. Seven yes. days in Mexico definitely hasn't been the easiest seven days as you guys know. No. We've had a lot of stuff go wrong and a lot of stuff we haven't even put on this video. It's just like, it's like all these little things. This morning our microphone lit on fire. <laughs> we had Lola threw up all over our bed. Basically it hasn't been the smoothest first seven days. But each challenge that we've been presented with during this trip I feel like has just put everything into perspective and it's really kind of taught us patience and you have to be patient here you guys to do to accomplish any challenge that we've had like we can't get any packages so when our shower broke we couldn't get a new one we just had to fix it when we need to get water like we can't really speak the language that well so you have to be so patient right. to try to overcome every single challenge and that patience kind of forces you to be more present and just more aware of everything going on yeah it's honestly been a blast even though it hasn't been the smoothest but so far today everything is going perfectly smooth yes. and we're one of our favorite places that we've been to this whole trip we got some more exploring to do so, we gotta keep going. so I think now we're gonna go head to a bakery it would only be right if we went and got some fresh Mexican baked goods and if you guys don't know Trent loves baked goods so let's go see his face when we get to the baked goods store <laughs> Holy crap. okay we, need, we definitely need an eclair <laughs> Wait, what about the cream platter? Okay. We are here to get one of everything. <laughs> get, a, get a platter. Are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> you're, you're just as pumped as Exactly. <laughs> Trent's a man on a mission right now. I want whatever that He's is. He's totally blacked out. You can't even hear what you're saying. So. <laughs> this, is your, this is your tray, dude? Is this for all of us or just this yourself? This is for me. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's okay. pastry number five. Okay.
Cheers. Salud. So we're hanging out here on a rooftop. At a restaurant called El Pagaso. Beers are $2. Entrees are $5. <laughs> we're having a freaking blast. We're loving life, baby. Gracias. Gracias. What an awesome meal that was. Anytime you can go out to eat, get two beers and two entrees and spend ten dollars a piece. It's a freaking killer. Especially in this place. This is a really touristy town. So we're just walking back to the bus now. It'll be an amazing day in San Miguel. 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 San Miguel. An amazing day. We have pastries in hand. And the sun setting right over there. You guys gotta check this view out. Yo, is this thing locked? Yeah, chain and fat lock. What's the deal? So the gate is locked, padlocked, okay. closed. We told the guy when we got in here, one more hour and then we were gonna leave. Okay. So he knew that we were gonna leave. And Trent's trying to break it open with his bare hands? Yeah, and it's like actually 100% padlocked. Like real padlocked. You know we could drive through that if we had to. For sure, yeah. yeah. And the old man that we've been talking to all day, yeah. he's not here anymore, but his car is still here. That's so maybe he's, he's probably coming back. Worst case scenario, there's police that pass by every like five or ten minutes, right. so we can flag right. police down. Right. Very, uh, very strange though. Yeah. I can definitely like get the gate open. I just don't want to like Fuck destroy them. their gate and yeah. then have them show up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we could just disassemble the left half of the gate for sure. Really? Oh yeah. I'm not being trapped here. <laughs> like, sorry. It's not an option. Maybe he's coming back? Yeah, maybe he's You just didn't want anyone to park in here in the meantime? it hasn't really been an hour, it's been like a half hour. What time so. is it? Was it like... 6.46. Yeah, we didn't get like right back till six after 6. Okay. Does it like Does skeeve it... you out? Like, or that, that he's trying to do something malicious? Or do you think he's just like, alright, I'm leaving? The dude that I was don't... trying to get in here is still parked right there, to the right. Yeah, the guy in the white... Which I think is, Honda. I'm getting like good vibes that he like is witnessing our situation. Oh. As, as it's getting darker too, it's kind of like skipping me out about driving. Yeah. Because like the one thing that everyone has told me is like, whatever you do, yeah. don't, don't drive, drive at night. night. There he is. That's the old guy? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he probably just had to go like, take a poop somewhere. Yeah, we told him an hour. Well, I was a little dicey for a minute. All of a sudden being locked in a fence, but we're on the road, we're on the highway. We're leaving a little bit later than we wanted to. But, but, we're going the, but the highway that we're going to be taking is like a very, very main road and it's Saturday so there's going to be a ton of people traveling on this road so I think we're going to be okay. We're going to Santiago de Catetero and we'll be there in about 40 minutes. Well ladies and gentlemen, we made it to our camp spot. Safe and sound. And I'd hate to tell you where we are, but we're sleeping at a Costco. And who would have thought that there's Costco in Mexico? So today was amazing. I'm so, so happy that we listened to that guy's recommendation and went and checked out San Miguel de Allende. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope so. <laughs> and it was awesome that this was our first smooth day yeah. in Mexico yeah. on our vlog. Because every time we go to film, yeah. it's just like a freaking shiz storm. Shiz storm. It's a good one. So even though you guys have seen a lot of challenges that we've been going through for this past week, Challenges is such a big part of traveling, especially if you're doing it full time. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're going off the beaten path and you're not just posting up in a resort, sitting by your pool, drinking a little Kool-Aid. Right. Which, nothing wrong with that. When we were taking our two weeks of vacation that we got a year, that's exactly what you want to do. You don't want right. any challenges. Right. It's like, let me just go and relax my brain. Right. But when you're doing something like trying to immerse yourself in cultures and um, just live in a vehicle and just do a lot of the things we do, you are consistently facing challenges. Totally, totally. But in our eyes, it's an opportunity to grow and an opportunity to um, push our comfort zone. An opportunity to have some fun to try to overcome a challenge. Right. Whether it's breaking our shower or getting stuck in a street somewhere. 
So we hope you guys had fun coming along with us today in San Miguel de Allende. I think that's how you say it. Hopefully. <laughs> and don't forget to go subscribe to Trent and Allie. Their video will be out tomorrow, so go check that out. And remember to don't stop losing. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.